Welcome to a peak performance here on 107.1 The Peak. I'm Coach here at Mercy University, the awesome studio where we have our peak performances, and we're in for a very special treat today, the world-famous Guster here at a peak performance. How's it going, guys? What's up, Coach? What's up, guys? All right, let's start off with a song. Guster at a peak performance here at Mercy University. Uh, there's a new album coming out called Ooh La La. And it's uh, kind of sonically different than where you guys have been before. And uh, I like it. Was that a conscious decision? I actually, since I, you, you know our band a little bit, right? Yes, we do. Okay. Can you try and explain why, what making it, and I mean this in the most yeah. uh, unantagonizing way. Like, what do you think makes it sonic dif- sonically different? Are you getting that a lot? Like, it sounds different? No, or, okay. I, I mean, I agree with you, but okay. I haven't figured out a way to articulate it. I would say it. it seems to me it's produced in a different fashion, a little more, there's a li- I, it's almost like an effect, like a background effect. This first single oh. um, is almost like a... Something you you know, if you go back to the early days of Guster, yeah. you're used to bongo drums. Yeah. This is a much more polished sound, let's Interesting. say. Interesting. Yeah. Not that unpolished is bad. No, which no, is and I, I really I'm not trying to be a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I hope <laughs> Never. just for for the record, coach was smile. Yeah, we're on the front end of this uh album cycle. So like I think and not every not that many people have heard the record and a lot of yeah. times, you know, this record took a long time to make. 
it's it's been assembled over many years. Um, we're just kind of wrapping our heads around it. So this is a really important moment when our, when people who know the band hear it and they kind of reflect back on us of what they think the record is. So I, more than anything, I'm just really curious. But yeah. you know, we had a CD release party about a month ago, um, and a lot of our and like a handful of our fans have heard the record, and four of the songs have been out for a while, like on the internet, and the feedback's been really great. I mean, people seem yeah. to really like the record and some people I don't know am I making this up feel like it sounds like more like old Guster yeah mostly I've okay. been hearing that it sounds like we got less sonically adventurous oh, and re- returned to our like <laughs> shows a- what I know acoustic <laughs> roots but the song keep going is definitely like out of like a, that's the one I loved yeah. on first listen run it into Chris Herman's office dude oh, Guster's cool. got a new one thank We're you playing it like Tomorrow. That's really Let's awesome. I mean, so. that one is in. That was on purpose. That was a purposefully like. Yeah. It was supposed to be like a sonic hug, you know. It's like there. That's what it feels like a sonic. There hug. it is. Then we've done our job, Boom. guys. Pack it up. We're pack going it. home. Let's go. We're, too late we're going home. Record. <laughs> sonic <laughs> hug. No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Do you want it to be that, Adam? No. <laughs> okay. Cool. So you uh, were on a tour called the Guster Also Has Eras. I mean, Guster Has Eras Two tour. Is that Guster? We oh, we so, also we, have eras. We, you also have eras. Which you do, we do. And I saw you. I did you guys open the new uh, Brooklyn venue? Uh, the, we were night two, night we were the two. second show, yeah. And I saw you kind of flying around on there. You were giving Taylor Swift a run for her money. You you were strapped <laughs> it up. Wasn't me. It was Brian. Who was? Oh, was it Brian? Oh yeah, I I flew like Peter Pan at the Boston show. <laughs> <laughs> we uh we it's a very theatrical wow. show. How did that feel? Did, uh, did you it, feel that the next day, I guess is what I'm asking. In in sound check I got it hurt so much I thought maybe <laughs> it just wasn't going to happen. Yes. But in the actual show I was just flying and performing and I was high as a kite. It was the best. <laughs> you were high as a kite. We'll just leave it at that. Um <laughs> But yeah, no, the new album sounds great. Did you enjoy the uh the the Eras tour, the Guster Eras tour. Yeah, I mean, I think at this point, you know, thirty something years in, yeah. you kind of need a, re- you, you know, we're always trying to challenge ourselves to come, like, how do we compel people to see us for the twentieth, fiftieth, hundredth time? You know, as a band that doesn't yeah. improvise that much. I mean, we have nine albums to draw upon, but mm-hmm. I think we're always trying to find a way to keep it interesting for our fans, but mostly interesting for ourselves, so we feel compelled to go out like. Oh, we're gonna go and play demons for the seven thousandth time. Right. But this was a really big swing. It was a it had like a a, the, a theatrical architecture. It was sort of set up like almost like a like a play where we tell the story of the band and Brian wrote a fifteen page script and we had costumes and props and we flew and um, we it's we were impressive. just sort of once Brian Brian really likes Taylor Swift and when we were trying to figure out what we were gonna do for the tour. Brian said, "Well, what if we just did an Eras tour?" And like, literally, like 15 minutes later, we were like, "We have, we have an idea," yeah. and 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 we execute it. It was really scary, but we, it was really super fun. I super say, actually act. There was actual acting. In right the lines we had to memorize wow. and wow set pieces and knowing where to. It stand. Sounds like a lot of work. Locking. It was so much work. <laughs> it was so much work. We like got together for like four days in Vermont and never even played music. <laughs> it's true. It's <laughs> true. We were like learning lines, lines and like figuring out how to block things. And we yeah. had my buddy's a Broadway uh, like a Broadway guy and came down and made sure we were doing stuff right. But ultimately, it served the music. And I think like you know for everyone that came and our tour honestly was like probably the most successful tour we've had in it's decades. Great. You know, the, everyone that saw it, it was it was basically conceived as a love letter to our fans. You know, yeah. like, and that's kind of where we're at at this point in our career. Like, just a lot, a tremendous amount of gratitude for being able to do this as fifty year old, fifty plus year old people who have been playing music for this long. So, I think that maybe the album and the tour, like, we kept the fans in mind. Like, the album was really about like finding an emotional center and kind of being vulnerable and finding the heart and in a lot of music and that probably wasn't our goal last time out and felt like this was the right time to do it. That's going to be tough to beat uh, on the next tour. You're going to have to start dating like an NFL player or something. We're so screwed. <laughs> we thought about it the whole time we were on tour. Like, what are we going to do? Just go back and play music again? Yeah, you're going to have to start <laughs> dating Patrick Mahomes and be seen in like the... You know the press box. Okay, so for for the guys who don't know sports in my band, Patrick yeah. Mahomes is oh. the quarterback. 
the quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, which is the same Thank team you. that has the tight end Travis Kelsey, who's dating Taylor Swift. So, oh, so yeah. he chose the other Kansas City Chiefs star, which was a great reference, just the wrong Thank band you. to make uh, the reference. Not really. Well, if you have to explain not. it. Actually, Apparently not. We got a ringer. We got a sports <laughs> ringer in here. If you have to explain it, it's not that funny. It's okay. Not for the sports people. We got <laughs> a sports guy. Just a minute. Patrick Mahomes is a household name. Household name. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Ryan. His you. name is Coach, by the way. We should have you known. Would, this. You should have known it was going to go there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> they, uh, you guys, when he when he said that, you guys all looked, looked at me yeah. like <laughs> desperately, you're like gonna help, have to Brian, explain this. Help. Brian, what's happening? Help. He said. Help. <laughs> now I know I have. Now I know who my ally is. Yeah, you do. Anytime I make a sports reference, yeah, it's cool. Well, you guys are music guys. That's why. Yeah, they can't be both. Yeah, you can't be both. Still musician, Not at all. athletes. Not at all. Anyway, well, speaking of music, let's go right into uh, another song right now from Guster on 107.1 The Peak. Black balloon, you pull the air out of this room, I'm tuned up good, but I'm not frightened out of you. Seven point one, the peak, a peak performance with Guster here at Mercy University, at this uh, beautiful space we have here. Um, we uh, we're lucky to have the space. The last time you guys were here, we played at Acme Recording and Mastering Studios, which was a legendary studio. Spin Doctors, of course, recorded uh, "Pocket Full of Kryptonite." Uh, as the crazy thing is, as soon as that studio closed. This one opened like a month later, and uh, we're so blessed. What to happened have it, in that so. studio? Did it get torn down? No, I think it's still there. I think they do yoga in there now. No? Oh, really? So it's <laughs> kind of <laughs> <laughs> That's downward <funny>. facing dog. <laughs> yeah, downward pocket facing full of doctors. Uh, you guys just played a porch, a, a porch fest. Um, yeah. Last week, right? Our old porch where we used to live. And normally, when like around here, if there's like a porch fest, there's like it's a lot of people. Like playing a porch for there's a reason they're playing a porch. Yeah. But I would imagine it was pretty cool that Guster was playing a porch fest. 
It was cool. We, it was. It was. I mean, after college, we basically, you know, we, we moved around for a hot second, and then we settled in this house in Somerville, near where we went to college, and we lived there for four years. And it's really the beginnings. Like college was the beginning of our, of our band, but that was like when we lived together and we made our first, you know, wrote our first record, our first like actual proper like major major label debut with Steve Lillywhite. So like, and then when we, after that, we never lived together again. So it was really a, a part of the identity of the band. <clears throat> and there's a porch fest in Somerville. And we asked if we could play on the porch. And they were like, no, sorry, they we got no. all the slots full. They said no, actually. <laughs> but the guys across the street have a cover band. And yeah. they're like, you can play on our porch. Just, yeah, you And we're like, yeah. oh, does that mean we don't have to bring our own instruments? They're like, cool, <laughs> like, even better. <laughs> you know, it's even less work. Yeah. You know, the funny part about playing on the porch is explaining it to your children. It's yeah. like dad's gonna go to work for the week, and and my daughter who's eight was like, "Well, what are you doing, dad?" And first day, I was like, "Well, our first show's on a porch." On a porch. <laughs> and I waited for it, and she didn't flinch. And she's like, "What about the second show?" And it's like, "Well, then the second show's at Carnegie Hall." Yeah, <laughs> and it's that's stories. pretty good. So pretty in good. our children's minds, um, that's it's like the same. It's kind of the same. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It was cool. Will they have Gatorade both places? Sure. At porch at <laughs> Hall? Yes, they will, sweetie. They do. Okay? That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So you guys met up at Tufts University, right? Yeah. Do you know some of the famous alums that have gone through Tufts? All I got is Tracy Chapman, okay. uh, William Hurt, uh, I think one of the Google dudes. Um, one of the Google dudes. Yeah, like Sergey. I saw a list of, of the 100 most famous alums. Did we make, Did we Tufts? make it? Let me tell you something. You should have been in the top 20. Oh. You, you weren't on the list. At all. <laughs> and I was wait who's by like number thirty by like number thirty you're like okay Guster should have been way on this yeah, list yeah who's ninety nine I got some of them I didn't write down all of them well, let's hear what you got but I got Jessica Beale was number one what she was and I, she was just after us she went for like a year yeah oh really yeah I heard yeah, she was really nice though. then but she, she shouldn't be number one on the list or she only went the year but she is you know pretty famous and gorgeous pretty famous. Uh, Tracy Chapman yeah got that Rain one. Wilson the guy from the office no he went to he did not. That's it was, according to this list. That list this is list wrong. Is wrong wrong list. In many ways. Hank Azaria. What? I think that's true. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that true. makes sense. He was probably a, in the bubs. Anthony Scaramucci and and no. uh, Mary Trump, the one who doesn't like Trump. No. Wow. Yeah. Scaramucci. She went there. I follow both of them on Twitter. <laughs> Those are hate. And followers. Ram Das. No. You know Ram Das is the. Um, he didn't go to Tufts. It's what that this it was on the list. Who else went where, to Tufts? Where, where'd you get? This I got list? A, now. I will pull up the full list in a minute. You better coach. But uh, I feel like you could have been at least in think, the top twenty. I don't think we're more popular than Ram Das. <laughs> Ram Das was like, <laughs> yeah, he was like number ninety-eight or something. I'm crazy. so into Ram Das right now. I f I don't know why I, I wrote that down because I feel like I knew you, you know would be is? into Ram Das. We, I've been super like <laughs> during the pandemic. I like had a bike club and we would ride our bikes every Wednesday. We'd be outside. And all we would do is talk about Alan Watts and Ram Dass. And now, and now my TikTok algorithm, like they're threatening to take TikTok away. And I'm like, right. where, can I, where am I going to get my daily Ram Dass? Where are you going to get the story of the Chinese, uh, it was the, the Chinese farmer? Isn't that his famous like uh, story? Who, Ram Dass? Yeah. I don't know. You Chinese know everything. Farmer. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I try to. It's that, it's that internet. It's pretty good. All I got is TikTok and Ram You got to look up the story of the Chinese farmer. It's very profound. I'll tell it to you later. That's awesome. Remember, like okay. Parts Ram anyway, Das. Ram Das. So well, we got some work to do. That is some of them. We got to beat Ram like. Das. <laughs> and then there were there were a bunch of other politicians. Yeah. Of various. I mean, we're actually, to be honest, though, we're not that famous. You should be in the top. According with the list, when you see the list, you're like, ah, oh, we're I, like number 15. I easily. guess. I don't, but know. I don't feel we're, like maybe we're. Maybe number 11. We're, we're famous not. like in Somerville at Porch Fest. Yeah. That's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. We <laughs> announce it five days out and we call every newspaper. But still, it's the top 100 of, I mean, come on, man. Scaramucci is pretty there. famous. Yeah. And he, only, and he only really had a job for 10 days. Yeah, how so. many Scaramucci's? One Scaramucci. One Scaramucci. I, I will say I have no desire to be more famous <laughs> than I am. I really don't. Yeah. It's like what is you're it? okay with it. So you're saying you're okay with not being on the top. I'm okay with list. being 125. Okay. Let's just say that's where we are. All right. I'm, you're probably a, at least number one on one. Thank you. At least. <laughs> we're gonna hire you. Uh, we're talking with Guster here on 107.1 The Peak and. Um, do we have another song? We got I one think more. We do one more song. Scare the peak performance. Let's do an old one. Let's do Hang On. Let's do that one.
When all is shattered, when all your hope is gone Who knows? Hang on from Guster here at a peak performance at Mercy University, and I have to congratulate you guys before we go. You guys now, you don't know this, but you hold a record for the most peak performances really? from one artist. You are now f- number, this is your fourth, I believe. Oh, wait, that's wow. so cool. You, well, you have now edged out Warren Haynes. Warren Haynes has had three. That's cool. You two were tied. This it's is your fourth station. over 20 years. That's one every five years. It's not bad. And this is a good station. We like this station. Thank it's you. funny, like, not that <laughs> we don't have like a million radio stations that yeah. play us, but the ones that we have relationships with, Are like the this, good ones. They're good ones. Like you yes. go and you look at your playlist, they're like, I want to be on that radio station. Well, you so, are on the radio so thank station. You. So thank you. Thank you. Absolutely no problem. Record holders. Now we gotta yes. get Warren Haynes. We and Scaramucci. Get Wa- <laughs> If Warren Haynes comes in here, then he'll be tied back up. Well, again, then we're coming know. right back. And in I the think next Warren day. Haynes, from my understanding, has a new record coming out, so this could threaten the record. We'll but. just we'll do it right the day after. Okay. So he'll feel. So when you tell him, he'll be like, "Yeah, I finally tied with Guster." Like, good luck, Haynes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for coming by, guys. Thank thanks to um, Sam and his whole staff here at uh, Mercy University, and thanks to uh, you, the listener, for hanging with us uh, here. On 107.1. Oh, uh, thank you. Golf Look, class. a golf clap. Golf a golf clap. clap. Nice. Uh, I'm Coach, and uh, well, uh, here's more world class rock on 107.1 The Peak.